In this lesson, I will explain how to turn this into this. We just need some simple music theory to learn that. And that, my friends, is what we're going to learn today. We're going to cover basic chords, chord inversions, and how you can use this to add m chords to your melodies. And we're going to use a famous pop song to learn that. Just a quick recap for beginner chords. If you want to play the most basic chords, that will be a C. This is the C under the two black notes. And the first, the third, and the fifth will make a chord. You can move this into different positions. There are actually, there are six positions that you should know about. There's actually a seventh, but it's almost never used. Most pop songs will only use the first six chords. And these will always sound happy, major, uh, and F and G are always major, and the other three are always minor. That's the basics. Moving on to chord inversions. You have these three notes that make the chords. You have the C, the E, and the G. You can also invert the chord by placing it like this. E, G, C, and like this, G, C, E. If you can do it with one chord, you can do it with multiple chords. And it's a really good to practice these inversions. Just go very slowly in the beginning. And just slowly speed them up a little bit. If you really want to practice this, you can use a metronome. Turn it to 60, I mean, like this. So, three notes, inversions. But how can we add the melody, Albert? How can we add the melody? I'm going to tell you. Any melody will have chords that can supplement them. Any melody. And actually, you can start to listen for them. I want, to, I want you to try this. I want you to try this. Just, just be open-minded. Try this. Okay, that's the first line. When I see your face... Haven't warmed up my voice, but... When I see your face There's not a thing that I would change What chords? What chords did I just play? Can you find them? Those two first chords. First chord, just that line. Now, try to play that line. And try to find the chord. Is it this chord? Yeah, of course. It's the C. Of course, okay. So, what might the next chord be? It's a discord. Doesn't sound right, does it? Could be, maybe. Try, just try all the chords. Doesn't sound right either. So, I'll give you a moment. Can you figure it out? Pause the video if you need to, 
can you figure out what the chords will be to this song? Can, you can try to figure out the whole song, or maybe just a little part of it. Just try, just try it. I'll give you the melody. When I see your face, there's not a thing that I would change. Cause you're amazing, just the way you are. Have you paused the video and have you tried it? Okay, good. Or if not, these are the chords. C, A minor, F, and G. That's all the chords in the whole song in this order. C, A minor, F, G. And I want you to use this inversion. This in top inversion, E at the top. Cause now you can use the melody. It's the same, you can see it's almost the same pattern. You see, instead of doing one note, you're actually playing the chord at the last note. And this is, song is nice because there's like a little breath before it happens. When I, when I see your face. Sorry about my voice, by the way. I haven't been singing so much. When I, when I see your face. If you want to play this part, you can use these three fingers to use the chord and these two fingers to play only a part of the chord and you can use the left hand for a little bit more support in the bass. You see that? And here the again the melody collides with the chords and the, just these two is a partial chord as well. And if you're trying to be fancy you can do that note in the left hand because then you have all the notes of the chord again a minor a c e this is first inversion e a c you see that but to keep it simple like that only use these two from the f which is the same as the A minor, so we make it extra simple. You, can, you have options here, you have freedom, because we're using theory, we're not, you, we're not stuck to this. You understand? This is theory, you can use any note from the chord. Alright, the last chord. Just the way you are. You can also always do this, like try to sing it, at least in your own head, and just figure out the melody. What is it? Just the way... No, that doesn't seem right. Just the way you are. Yeah, that's it. And then if you know the melody, you can... And you also know the chord, you can try to figure out... And there's a C again. Okay. Just gonna do the whole thing. I hope I'm making sense. And I hope I'm making sense to you. And also, after I edit this, it will be maybe a little less chaotic than <laughs> um, this has been. I really, uh, um, but it's, it, for me, this is of course very simple because I have been doing this for 30 years, almost. Yeah, yeah, 28 years I've been playing the piano. So, 
basic stuff. I learned, but I learned this part when I was 12. So I, th I first did classical music, learned to read notes and stuff. And this, this is actually like simpler than all of that classical stuff, at least. And one, once I could play this, it kind of opened up a world of possibilities for me. Because as a bonus, if you know this, you can also improvise in any situation, in any song. You can do... Okay, that's a bonus, but you can just use any note in the key of C to improvise. And it's always nice to incorporate it with the chord. C has an E in it. If you improvise with this, you can Try to begin and end on one of the notes that are in the chord. And preferably one of the notes that's also in the melody. So just try to stay a little bit close to the melody. You can experiment with this because you don't have to improvise with the song. You can just improvise any chord. you can use two notes. Or use the inversions to improvise. Okay, if you make mistakes, right? Just try stuff. And this opens up a world of possibilities. I actually made this channel and all the shorts in C with just a simple melody and a simple bass line. You know that you have to play a F and a, with the IC fire. I, I have a link to it there. A minor chord. You don't even have to know what the difference is between major and minor. You just have to know it's all white keys because everything on my channel is white keys. Anyway, this has been Piano Albert. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you do, hit the like button below, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Ciao.